How are you guys doing today? This is the first of a series of videos we will be presenting related to the OBD2 trouble codes. We will focus on the most common codes and even though the information will not be vehicle specific, most manufacturers will use the same code to pinpoint a troubled area. The first five OBD2 codes I will be covering are related to the mass airflow sensor, also known as MAF sensor. The codes are P0100, P0101, P0102, P0103, and P0104. The code P0100 is usually followed by one or two of the other mass airflow sensor codes. The code itself means mass or volume airflow circuit malfunction. It can be caused by something as simple as bad connection, moisture inside the sensor housing, or it could be caused by a damaged circuit board inside the sensor itself. The next code is P0101. Its description is mass or volume airflow circuit wrench or performance problem. This code usually appears when the computer detects that the mass sensor signal is no longer within the predetermined parameters for more than 4 to 8 seconds depending on the manufacturer. The most accurate way to test the sensor when this code appears is with the use of a scan tool with graphic capabilities. A healthy sensor will show a steady flow of peak and valleys on the screen and a defective sensor will have intervals of interrupted signal. At the end of the video I will show you how it looks when we capture live data with the use of a scan tool on a vehicle with the engine running. A dirty mass airflow sensor could also trigger this trouble code. By not allowing the computer to read the correct amount of air that passes through the air intake hose. You can purchase mass airflow sensor cleaner and you can clean the sensing elements inside the sensor. It's very inexpensive and it could save you the cost of buying a brand new sensor. Also, once you're done cleaning it and you install it back on, make sure that the hoses are tight so you don't have any vacuum leaks that could also contribute to develop this type of code. The next code is P0102. Its description is mass or volume airflow circuit low input. This code could also be caused by a dirty sensor or if you have an aftermarket air intake system that requires the air filter to be coated with oil there's a possibility that as the air passes through the sensor it may have carried enough oil to contaminate the sensing element so cleaning it could fix that coat a broken wire, bad connection or of course a defective sensor could also trigger this coat the next coat is P0103 its description is mass or volume airflow circuit high input. This code usually appears when the computer detects higher readings than the specified parameters, which in most cases is caused by a bad sensor. However, to be absolutely sure, you need to read the data that the sensor is sending to the computer with the use of a scan tool. It can either be read on grams per second or pounds per minute, and that information can be compared with the correct values to find out if you have a defective sensor. The last code related to the mass airflow sensor is P0104. Its description is mass or volume airflow circuit intermittent. There could be times when the solder connections inside the sensors come loose due to vibration that could trigger this type of code. Bad connection from the harness to the sensor could also trigger this code. Always make a good visual inspection to the connection and the sensor itself before replacing it. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you a healthy mass airflow sensor signal data looks with the use of a portable scan tool made by Actron. This and many other models of scan tools are available in our online store. I will provide a link on the video description where we have the scan tools in our online store. That way you can review them and if you choose, you can buy one of them from us. As I mentioned earlier, a healthy sensor will display peaks and valleys on a steady flow. 
a VAT sensor could show intervals of no signal or random high and low output signals. I'm going to go ahead and accelerate so you can see how the sensor should respond. Hi. See, it went all the way up to 120 grams per second. Depending on how much you accelerate, it's going to show a different value. And it's going to give it power throttle. Decelerate. Accelerate. Somewhere in between. You can see the value come down. That was a huge peak right there, 145 grams per second. I just show you what the data looks like when it's captured with the use of the portable scan. And like I said, it's available in our online store. I will make sure I provide the link. That way you can either review this one or uh, one of the other ones that we have available. Some of the other ones are more complete. It will allow you to do more than what this one does. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it allows you to troubleshoot any problems you may have with the mass airflow circuit in your problem. And I look forward to seeing you again. Have a great week.